up you guys JP here we're with Trent we're finally getting on the 62 wheelies project yep so we're gonna be installing a 2018 Vortec V6 it's the 4.3 from GM um, with their I believe it's a 6L90 transmission attached um, the transfer case isn't currently here but we'll be getting that from the customer he'll be doing the axle swap because the axle on the transfer case is on the driver's side, whereas the axle on the front of the wheelies is on the passenger side. So there's obviously gonna need to be some updating in the front end. Customers can do that. All we're gonna be doing is fabricating uh, mount, transmission cross members, that type of stuff. Today, we're gonna get the motor out of the back of it. We're gonna get it set down kind of where we want it, take a few measurements so we know how much steel we need to order, what kind of mounting system we're gonna do, and kind of go from there. Any other thoughts? No, let's get this thing going. Man. Awesome. All right, you guys, we have her sitting in here. Um, we are gonna have to cut this original battery tray out. Um, we can't go back far enough um, without hitting the cylinder heads because obviously this is a V6. I believe these used to come with an inline. So um, we'll have to cut the battery tray out. Right now we are resting on the factory engine mounts but those are going to have to be cut off um, when this thing goes back approximately six inches um, we're going to have to fabricate our own mounts and we'll probably go from the factory vehicle frame probably copy similar to what the the factory mounts were this steel here and we'll build them across with our own bushings um, let this sit further back because the further back the better for center of gravity purposes. And plus we need the extra room for the radiator up here. Um, you see the radiator mount would hit this front pulley. So 
That extra six inches should give us more than enough clearance for all the radiator, all the accessories we need to do. Um, underneath, I'll get you guys underneath here. So underneath, right now we're just using a tie strap to hold the transmission in. But you can see we have clearance in the tunnel so we shouldn't have any issues with needing to cut the floor pan out or making a new transmission tunnel. We should be good. Um, we gotta make sure that all our linkages we won't need. I believe that's all to the old factory transmission, so that should all be able to be removed. Um, and then we're gonna, we wanna get this down and make sure we're at the proper angle that meets that height and that angle of the pinion on the rear differential. So as of right now though, we have it tentatively just in there and now we can kind of start taking measurements in the future. Get in there and let you guys see a little better, hopefully. You see that this light is very blinding. You see down in here, that mount is right now we're just resting right on those factory mounts but again when we go six inches back we're going to be nowhere near those mounts so we're going to end up cutting these completely off from the frame on both sides getting rid of those um, i don't think we'll need to move too much anywhere else looks like the exhaust will clear perfectly um, starter solenoid we're going to get rid of and um, like I said, we'll get rid of the battery tray, do a battery relocation. Um, but yeah. All right, you guys. So that's it for this episode of the 62 Willys uh, GM Vortec V6 swap. We just wanted to kind of get a rough test fit, kind of see visually what we're going to need to do. I think we're going to have really good um, clearance. We may end up having to depending on how far back we go we may end up having to notch the front frame for the main drive pulley we don't know yet because right now it's leaned back pretty good so we're nowhere near this but when we drop it in and level it out a little um, this may be too close to this so just kind of little things here and there like I said that we're seeing um, but that's going to be it for this episode we wanted to get something rolling on this thing we had some time to actually get started on it so um, from us here at JP Street and Performance, we'll catch you next time.